Hey Droplets, we made it over to Smog City Brewing Co. We're gonna go inside and talk to Porter about saving LA Brewers. All right, Droplets, here we are. We are at Smog City Brewing Company, and we're super excited because we have a gentleman sitting in front of us who you might recognize. If not, why don't you in introduce yourself to the Droplets? Hello, Droplets. Uh, my name is Porter. I am co-owner and brewmaster here at Smog City Brewing Company. Smog City Brewing Company. You guys, um, the, the weather's a little warm today, so I apologize if I've got some droplets, uh, but, so let's let's dive right into this. First of all, we've had we've poured some beer. We're gonna drink some beer. I mean, it's warm. Uh, it's we need it's it. hot. This is this is how we do the work. That is so lovingly refreshing. Uh, I don't know. Agreed. I'm sure uh, Ben and I live in the studio have already said start drinking this beer, and everyone's already kind of like whoa, because this is so. So what do you what do you uh, describe this beer for us? Like, is what I should be asking. Well, so from LA with love uh, yeah. is the name of the beer. Uh, is meant to be a classic Belgian wit beer, um, with you know, with all of that like citrusy, oh yeah, and um, spice character, like sort of a blend between real spices and yeast character. Okay, um, in like a super drinkable format. Um, these beers are really light on the palate. They're incredibly difficult to pull off well. Mm. I think um, I like to think that we. Yeah have made so many beers and styles over the years that we can just kind of just wing it and nail it. Okay. You know, when we try new things, but this one was, we were not willing to <laughs> just put a beer in the tank and call it and then brand it and package it. So I, it. I, I personally brewed four or five pilot batches of this trying to wow. get yeast combination, fermentation temperature, like all the beer dork things. That's fine. Down to a T. We've, we've definitely discovered that uh, we have the whole gambit. Uh, we have everyone who's like, I don't know what a wit beer is all the way to, right. there's probably a couple of brewers watching this going, oh yeah, oh yeah, man, I, I feel you. Right. That, that it's, yeast and it's spice. And yeah, you got all the different yeast strains, like how much spice do you use? Where are you getting the coriander from? Is it domestic? Is it Indian? Do you crack it? Do you grind it? Like, these are all considerations, right? Sounds like a lot of science that I'm like, my brain is half well. exploding right now. Like, <laughs> you said cracked coriander, I don't even know, okay. Well, you know, devil's in the details, right? <laughs> this is true. This is true. Yeah. I, I always say, and I'm sure the droplets have heard me say this, we here at uh, Last Drop are beer enthusiasts, by no means experts. Great. So we love uh, talking to guys like yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you guys know enough to be dangerous, right? <laughs> just <laughs> Well, clearly. It's not. <laughs> we, know, we know enough to throw beer festivals and to get, right. get beer in people's hands. Cool. <laughs> cool. Well, you're doing God's work. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, write that down. Tell me write that down. Uh, let's talk about Smog City. How long have you yeah. guys been here? Okay, so um, the facility that we're in now yeah. uh, has been here since 2013. Okay. Uh, we started out uh, in uh, Orange County at the brew pub that I was working for, um, Tustin Brewing Company. Oh, okay. With an agreement with the owner to brew our brand on the side. That ah. started in 2011. Okay. So for the first two years, um, I brewed all the beer. Uh, and my wife and I did all of the sales distribution. Wow. And yeah. Um, so that was a lot of work, and but we learned a lot of valuable lessons, right? That sounds like the, the love of craft right there. Yeah, it really is. Or <laughs> the love of sitting in traffic for hours and hours every day. I don't know. Well, don't worry. Our droplets are all like Orange County, LA area, so they feel you on the traffic. Yeah, I'm You're sure. not alone. You're not alone. Yeah, like maybe a little less right now, but we all know. We're, we're, yeah. It's it's like it's sort of a scar you can't forget, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So yeah, we so we opened this facility in 2013. Okay. Um, and have been uh, distributed from about Santa Barbara to San Diego. Okay. Um, but primarily in Los Angeles. Yeah. Um, since the day we opened. Okay. Um, we have our tap room here that we're sitting in, which yeah. currently is empty because of the LA County COVID restriction yep. restrictions. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the whole thing. Well, so that's actually let's let's transition into um, you. I, I heard your wife is a big champion, and, and yeah. you guys in general, of course, well, uh, are big champions for Save LA Brewers. Absolutely, right? That campaign has been ongoing now for close to two weeks. Um, it's a 
joint effort of all of the LA brewers, LA County brewers, Good. Um, to get the message out uh, to the board of supervisors, uh, the decision makers basically, mm-hmm. to say that, hey, we should not be treated like a bar. We yeah. should be treated more like a restaurant as is done in the rest of the state. Yeah. We are the only county where that is not the case. Ah. So um, there's been a lot of, um, I call it politicking going yeah, on. I mean, <laughs> I mean it, it is what it is because it's, yeah. it's, it's political. Even though you know these people are not elected officials, they still hold that power over us. And yeah. their, their decision making has really impacted our business and that of at least 70 other breweries in the county. That's yeah. That's, and that's a significant uh, em- employment you know area. It is. It's huge, and yeah. the thing is that it is. Um, we have built a lot of um, other sources of revenue over the years. We have in- international distribution in, in small ways. Um, we've yeah. got a, we've got a big wholesale um, uh, aspect to our business that is keeping us afloat. But there's a lot of yeah. breweries that need that over the counter sale to yeah. stay in business, and we need them to stay in business to keep our right. beer culture in LA strong. Yeah, it's hard. We're just not. It's hard to move that needle. Well, well, talking about hard to move a needle, you guys also do, I see, I'm see. i looking at the signs around me, you do the 1% for a planet, right? Oh yeah, and for those of you that don't know, 1% for the planet is a basically a pledge we make as a business yeah. um, to donate 1% of um, all sales. Okay. So it's not profit, which can be arbitrary yeah. and like, oh, this was really expensive, so I don't have that much profit kind of I thing, see. right? So it is like sales, one yeah. percent right off the top. Okay, goes to um, environmental initiatives. Nice, and not just any initiatives. These are um, nonprofits that are vetted by the One Percent for the Planet organization. That okay. basically guarantees are doing good. Awesome. So a lot of people come along and say, "I'm a nonprofit," and technically that's just like a tax classification. Yeah. Right. And so I'm, I'm now a nonprofit today. No. <laughs> right. I'm. But yeah, that, <laughs> we're hopefully not looking at nonprofit this year, but <laughs> but still, we, yeah. So even even with um, COVID, we haven't backed out of that promise. That's awesome. And it will be a reduced um, donation yeah. this year. And um, but you're still doing it. We're still doing it. Well, because we believe strongly in it, right? That's awesome. Where would we be? We, we talked about this earlier. Where would we be without the planet? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I, you do one percent one percent for the planet. I live on the planet. I like that idea. So, uh, yeah. so here's what you're saying is you can drink beer at home and save the planet, kids. That's all. That's, you know. Truth. You guys are expanding out here. You guys are going to be doing, uh, is it a fourth location? Yes. So tap room number four nice. um, is going to be in the Glendora uh, marketplace. Okay. Um, so Very for cool. those of you who don't know where Glendora is, it is quite a distance from us here in Torrance. Yeah. There are many freeways, <laughs> but it's actually, as you drive, not that far. So oh, um, okay. basically, um, east of downtown LA, oh, um, yeah, yeah. just east of Azusa, off the 210. Oh, okay. Is, is vaguely where the location Azusa, is. Azusa, A to Z, everything in the USA, right? Is that yeah. how got the name or something? Magical, right? Yeah. I wish all cities were named that yeah. way. <laughs> Everywhere is just Azusa now, but. Oh, no, not like that. <laughs> oh, not can, like that. We can use oh. different letters. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> so, yeah, Glendora, we're super excited about that. It's been, obviously, because of COVID, it's been quite a journey to get there and get that place open. Um, there is no firm opening date, but there's end of September, early October. Okay. Hopefully, we'll be soft opening. Awesome. Um, um, but, yeah, um, so 26 draft handles. Um and wow. obviously plenty of package for all Hooray! in these days of all the merch, being all the safe, beer. drinking at home. Yeah. Um, but a beautiful space in a restored historical building. Ooh. Um, and uh, probably eight, 10, 12, I don't know how many food vendors uh, oh. there's, you know, still building out. So you can come, beautiful. relax, grab some food, get some ice cream. Oh, it's like one of those food hall kind of places, yeah, right? Exactly. I see. I'm 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 picturing yeah. it now. There's a coffee roastery. Oh. Uh, we're going to be partnering with them to hopefully make some coffee beers. Drool, drool, I know. drool. No, I mean the possibilities are endless. Yeah. So we're still in LA County there. Okay. So a little until tougher. we get that, yeah, that yeah. restriction lifted, we're still in the same space as we are with our other taverns. So. so keep being safe, droplets. Wear those masks. Wash those hands. I know we got lots of hand sanitizer around here, so keep doing it. Yeah, fast. Um, <laughs> so, uh, seeing as we're talking, talk, 
talking about we're trying to hashtag uh, POCO, so post COVID. Oh my um, God. Hopefully, I POCO. I've heard that. That's it. Yeah. It's very entertaining. <laughs> well, because otherwise you have like this like 20 sentence long, like, well, you know, after it. Maybe. But, sort but is there of, really an after? But when is that going to happen? I don't yeah. even know. So POCO. I'm with you. So, um, so go visit, visit your local spot when POCO lightens up and we can uh, freaking get in here. But, yeah, so most of our locations are in the South Bay, which okay. is where we are in Torrance. Um, we have another location here in Torrance. There's one in Long Beach that is actually open. Got another it. Um, sort of long-winded story about why it's open, but it's there. You can, <laughs> it's go, there, you can go to a Smog City at Steelcraft in okay. North Long Beach. Oh, yes, Steelcraft. Yes, yes. The we almost ended up there today because we were like, we're going to... No, not that one. <laughs> Good. We've what? had phone calls like that. Uh, Where's the brewery? I don't well, see a brewery. You got to just read the droplets. You do that because you're here. Um, well, let's talk about uh, what we've been asking everybody. What do you think uh, a good beer for our droplets at home to try during COVID? If you're stuck at home, what's your suggestion for beer? And I, I feel like beer is a very like time and place and mood or situation uh, topic. True. Right? So like, are you home? Are you uh, managing three children under the age of 10 and trying <laughs> to get them to like Zoom school all day? Yeah. Like you probably need a barley wine at the end of the day, honestly. <laughs> like you need something, you need something big. I mean- I see what you're saying. You need to, oh, so at the end of the day, something big. Oh, but, but during maybe, the day. maybe during the day, just keep it light. Yeah, Some, I mean, I think so. It's summer. It's been kind of hot. I mean, in LA, right? I don't have AC. I got the windows open. And so we have like one little AC unit in our place. I feel you. It's just kind of yeah. kind of cool, like an eight hundred square foot. Yeah, I mean, it can be miserable. So yeah, if you're home during the day, I mean, you know, outdoors is great for lighter beers. This wood here is only four point six percent. So what you're saying is four eight. You saying? should. You should, what you're saying is you should go for this bad boy. Any time of the day when the kids are uh, homeschooling, yeah, four eight. Well, it's really full flavored, right? So it is. If you're a craft beer fan, which they are, drop us. You're you're craft beer fans. It's, <laughs> you look for big flavor without the alcohol during the day, right? Yeah. You don't. You want something that's full flavored. You're used you're that that you know. It's in your your sort of wheelhouse where you're used to drinking, but you don't want it to slow you down. At least yeah. that's how I am. No, I think you're. You know, there's especially like you said with the homeschooling and all, all that stuff going on, you got. to Zoom meetings, you could probably uh, sneak yeah. this in and be like, oh no, this right, is just right. apple cider. Right. No. Just put it in the koozie. Apple juice. Yeah. Put it in the koozie. Oh, right. I didn't think of koozie. It's an energy drink, right? That's the thing. <laughs> I mean, it is a very bright can. You could probably pull off energy drink. Yeah. I mean, that's just what I told the officer bit. the other day, and he bought it. <laughs> I don't know where else. I, I feel like we should just end, the, end it right there. Like, that's. <laughs> And, and they're just and, like the woo, woo, woo. Yeah. <laughs> I think I hear them outside right now. They're uh, coming to check your ID. They're no. friends. Yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, all right. Well, thank you so much for having us. Uh, Absolutely. Great beer. Yeah. Great facility. Your staff is awesome. Wow. Um, cheers to you. Cheers. I don't know. We didn't start that. I, I ended that and started that. I ended that right, but I started it wrong. So cheers. We can start Girls, over. As they say. Let's do it all again. I drop what's back to us live in the studio.